I just get done recording a vlog. Just a normal vlog update in my all my yellowness. And uh, a pop that into my mind. And then we're talking about this on Twitter. Um, no, it's not the Nintendo thing. That's be There's probably a thousand rants about that already. About the whole Nintendo copyright. I've been there, done that. It doesn't. I try not to be bothered with. The most content ID problems I've had so far in my YouTube quote-unquote career was Atlas. But what? What shifted in light, camera? First I'm yellow, now I'm pretty much in a normal light. <sighs> anyway. <clears throat> Excuse me. I want to talk about the LP community as a whole. <laughs> I've been a part of it for about three years now. And, um... It's really focal point of so I'm gonna talk about what I think some of the problems is. First off, the community itself is way too big. That there's so many LPs that think they can and they go out and do it and they're not successful and they complain about not being successful. And their quality's not up to par. The, they either it's the camcorder LPs or the really bad glitchy excuse me emulator let's plays and I've been there done that I have a problem with it but I went on and fixed it and then there's the bad audio quality and they all complain about all this stuff and they usually can't fix it and they complain about not being able to fix it and they always ask, you know, how do I fix this? How do I do that? And they don't use two things that are available to them. It's a magical, magical invention that was invented like not too long ago. That's really awesome. You wanna hear what it is, guys? You you really wanna hear? It's called Google. That's right. Google. Hmm. If you have a problem, you can always type in how do I do blank and click enter or search or use your little mousey thing scroll all the way up with your pretty little arrow arrow all the way up to the little magnifying glass click it and then you're taken to a magical place of all these answers and forms and stuff you can read not only that you have this magical thing that you've been a part of for I don't know that you've probably thought you've been part of. Let's go with thought. Because thought is a pretty good word in your guys' situation who really think that there's a little less players that could. I'm not a successful LP -er, so I can say that though. I, I can qualify myself as a little LP -er that could. Because I devoted my time, my the, the money that I, what money that I had, and sometimes I've been blessed by like family members to help me out. But to try to fix this and I use the resources that I can to fix it like right now I got this for Christmas it's a blue Yeti it's $150 quality microphone and I just use it for a video project that we did in advanced placement environmental science yeah then there's the HD PVR which I bought with my own money after saving months and months of my part-time job you know how much I make in my part-time job I work once a week that I just got a call for the first time, quote unquote, early in the week. By the way, it's a Thursday day when I got called for a Sunday job. Usually I don't get called till Friday. I found either a Saturday or a Sunday job. And then when I get into work, something pulls a 180 on me and something happens in either I switch positions and I have to wait for four hours. Well, something completely random happens and something gets canceled and nobody calls me and says, Hey, you're not working at all anymore. I make about $1,700 a year. When I file my tax returns and I have a choice because it's so low, I would get $10 back. A whole $10. I can go to CC's Pizza and have like three buffets. No. It's 
It's ridiculous. And the people that complain and complain and complain about, oh my god, fraps is just t- so long. Or I, they keep Audacity or Sony Vegas keeps rendering something wrong or can't record the audio right. Um, or, or, stop saying or, or, and bitching and bitching about it. Go on YouTube, go and on to Google and figure it out for yourselves. That's the first thing that pisses me off. If you're gonna be a Let's Player, set yourself off where you can look good first. Look good, sound good, that's your guys' first option. If you're doing it using a camcorder and the camcorder's mic or your laptop mic, you're doing it wrong. When I started, yes, I used a bunch of freeware emulators and stuff. I have, I still have this, by the way. My very first desktop mic. It was a too damn long cord of a Logitech. It was Skype approved, so I knew I was doing good, doing something with it. So if I wanted to do co-commentary, this was approved with Skype, so I'm gonna get decent audio quality out of it. But really, stop complaining. I mean, I'm not saying I'm the best LP out there because I'm obviously not if I'm not doing well. But it's just one of those things that if you're going to strive to do it and you're going to want to do it, do your best to do it well. And if your best, unfortunately, the reality of it, if your best is the camcorder LP, stop. If anything, if you're gonna use do any YouTube videos and you really want to do a YouTube video and you have nothing but a camcorder, set up a camcorder. At least get yourself a decent mic or a headset or something. I had bought myself a headset after this, after this little desktop mic. I've upgraded. I used to not have a capture device. I used then I was able to be blessed by a friend. And Captain D. McGee, who upgraded to an HDP viewer and was so nice, I'm just deciding, you know what? You want a Dazzle? I'll give you my old Dazzle. I'm going to give you the old programs. And go have a ball. And I did have a ball, by the way. Thank you. Granted, I could never get to work, probably. But I made do with it. What I could do with it. And it was decent quality, and I... Opened up my game base so much more. You know what else I did? I saved money to even broaden my gaming perspective. By the time I got my Dazzle, all I had was the original Xbox and a PlayStation 2. Since then, I've saved my money, worked my ass off, do, did my best to get allowance, saved up my Christmas and birthday money. I bought, since then, An Xbox 360, which, with warranties, protection, all that good stuff, came up to about $600. And that's the $250 that came with the Kinect, which I don't even use the Kinect, but it was the only $250 Xbox that Best Buy had. And I bought myself a PS3, which was $270, plus the one-year warranty, and... The Sly Cooper Collection, and Gran Turismo 5, which was four games. I was fine for that. It was $270. Fortunately, they don't have that deal anymore because it was a summer-only deal. So, brought it up. And since then, I've upgraded up to, from a a Dazzle to an HD PVR. And I saved up with my own money. Remember that. So I ha- I do my best to strive for quality. That's the first thing you need to do. And I've tried the whole sidebar things up. I looked up videos and I looked up and I tried it. I didn't. It, I wasn't satisfied with it. You got my viewers weren't satisfied with it, so I stopped. It wasn't my thing, obviously. I kept trying and trying and trying, and I'm probably gonna do my best to make a thumbnail for my vlogs and my rants, such as this. In fact. A couple of ideas have come to me, so I'm going to do my best to actually implicate it. You know what I'm saying? I'm glad you do. So, let's let's get off with one, since I'm ten minutes in. Little Let's Players I Could, there's too damn many of us, and they're not even that all that great. 
So stop it there. Okay. Now if you're decent and let, let's take another thing. Drive for partnership. That's another thing that should separate L peers. If you're just here to get a partnership, to be like a Chugga Conroy that, or a Proton John, stop. Just stop. I started this for fun and I still find this a fun hobby. Just stop. If your one goal is to get partnered, stop. You're not going to have any fun with it. You're going to go through a bunch of strengths and become a quality whore. And it's just not going to work out for you. Let's Play should be fun. I enjoy it. I enjoy streaming to find common, other commentators and love and, you know, conversation. That's why I like sm involving the chat. That's why I always say, leave a comment of this, this, and this. I don't get comments that often. And I recently got a comment asking me about a Let's Play from two years ago. Almost two years ago. Asking me about a boss. I did my best to rewatch that part. Go through. I actually have my DS, my 3DS open. I'm actually, I'm past the part at this point. Of the, you can't really see it, but this is Mega Man Star Force 3. I went past the point. I looked up everything I could. And I'm about to turn this off. But I went back and I did my best to answer that question. Dude was a... I'll give you I'll give you a little insight. The dude was an Italian, so his English was not great, which honestly doesn't bother me. I I've known I know an exchange I've seen but I get exchange students school, coming to my school all the time. We just had two last year from one was from I think one was from Italy. Can't remember where the other one was from. It was a Europe, European country. But they both didn't speak one word of English. Well, they learned. Oh, yeah, there was also a girl from Korea, South Korea. And she was on my bus. She was living at a... In the apartments down the street, so... You know what? She was pretty interesting, but... I, I just answered this question. He was in a trouble with spoilers. A boss called Club Strong. And he... Or she, I didn't really look the gender. I'm, my apologies. Was having trouble... They had 260 HP and they couldn't, and they had trouble killing the boss, Club Strong. First off, this is a really smack you in the face, boss. Boss. And the fact that you try to help them is another good thing. You're just knowledgeable and you don't say, Well, that was two years ago. I don't remember. Because really, if you really enjoy what you do, you remember every single part of the game. And if you want, you can even go back and look it up yourself. <sighs> okay. I went a little bit off topic. Back to my topic of if you're striving for, for partnership, this is the sole reason why you want to become a YouTuber. Sure, that's nice and all, but I'm gonna go and throw out some suggest some things for you. I was inspired by Rowan Mitho, who's still not partnered, even though he's got like, I think he's close to 10,000 subscribers now. He's not partnered. I don't think he has really much of an interest being partnered, though. But. He does Let's Plays. I, he first had a main series called Mega Man Perfect Runs. And he has a job with his family. He doesn't rely on YouTube to do to have, have his funds, even though he might like to. I don't think he is aware, unfortunately, of the opportunities that he can have. That's an, he's also, unfortunately, have bad internet problems over by where he lives. But that's a different story all of itself but he's still a successful guy in his right even though he doesn't strive for it he enjoys what he does he puts a lot of effort into what he does and he has fun he's not stressed out by it sometimes and bam success now we can look at a guy like proton john who's one of the quote-unquote original l peers um He had a job over at GameStop and I don't know, or EB Games as it was at the time up in Canada. And he, I don't know if he still has a side job or something, but he was, had his own roommate at the time. It was like his Ninja Guy 3 or 2, whatever, let's play. And, you know, he was supporting himself and he, I don't think he was partnered at the time, so. Here's a guy that's successful 
that everybody loves and admires and all that. He has a job supporting himself. And he's just like the little Let's Play that could back in the day. So, those are my, those are the main reasons why LP community in general kind of pisses me off. Like, when I joined, it was still relatively a decently sized community. Now it's just overpopulated. And if you know anything about sustainability and environmental science, which I have actually, I'm actually surprised how much I've learned and applied environmental sciences. It's weird. But the population capacity. It will grow to so much of a size that it will can only hold so the habitat can hold so much of a population in different communities. If that exceeds, then there's going to be different niches colliding from different species that's going to be in competition, and one species is, or multiple species are going to end up extinct. That is that is unfortunately how it is. How it is. I just got a Skype message. So, there's that. I'm done ranting. I'm sorry if I wasted a lot of your time, but I hope this guy, this made you think. Well, if you guys get into LP, really consider what you're going to do, what you have available, and what can you do to, you know, have fun. This That should be a goal, to have fun, meet new people, even though I've been towards the ins and outs, the goods, and the bad of the community, I still relatively enjoy what I do. Hence me doing vlogs and gaming at the same time, because I enjoy it. This is the one of the few times and the few chances and times that I can actually speak my mind and people would either listen or throw out their own opinions at it. And I welcome your opinions, really. Unless they're really dumb. I mean dumb as in arrogant, not really know what they're talking about. Now I have to go tell Brandon that he he's welcome for me getting him into Hollywood Undead. Bye.